Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Jim Goodwin, the director of Josephine County Juvenile Justice. Jim, good to see you. How are Hi. you today? Good. How are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So let's talk about let's talk about juvenile justice in, in Josephine County. Mm -hmm. uh, I assume that's juvie, as, as many like to call it. But what is the mission of the department? Well, the mission of, of the department is to uh, promote youth that enter the system uh, really through the criminal system. So we, we get a referral from law enforcement for youth for really anything that an adult can be referred or get in trouble for. They enter our system and uh, we're about first trying to divert them from going deeper into the system. So we do a lot of preventative work with kids, uh, first timers that might get in trouble and dealing with them outside of official court Mm -hmm. And then so we start there and then of course you have kids that enter our system for uh, more heavy duty charges just like in the adult system and mm -hmm. we um, so we provide community supervision, probation services, uh, community service, really everything that the adult system does for an adult, what they would call an offender, we, we do that for, for okay. kids. And do you operate a facility, a juvenile hall, for lack of a better phrase? We, we had a juvenile facility, a juvenile detention center in Josephine County that was uh, closed in 2012 after some significant uh, budget issues that we had there. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, we contract for a very small number of beds. Uh, right now, we're using Douglas County for that uh, detention contract. So you send kids to Douglas County? Correct. Okay, and how many, how many is that, do you mind me asking? We, we have a three-bed contract okay. on an ongoing basis, so we, we can have three in an, an, on any given day. Okay, and, and do, are, the, are these kids in and out, for lack of, a, lack of a better phrase, or are they, is, I mean, you know, I don't know how, it's, it's juvenile, so it's not like they're being sent to, to prison, for lack of a better word. How Correct, does that work? So, so a youth might be picked up for some felony charge on a weekend, um, they would be detained by law enforcement, taken to detention, and then they appear before a judge the next judicial day, and then a determination is made whether or not it's safe to let them back home, back into the community, that kind of thing. And if they weren't deemed safe, they would stay in Dulles County, or at some point do they go Correct. somewhere north? Correct. Yeah. Um, maybe, they, maybe it's a, a severe crime or a crime that falls under Measure 11. They could be detained for sure. months at a time, and those youth could wind up going from there to a youth correctional facility. But oftentimes, in almost 90% of the cases, they, they come back to the community to us under community supervision, probation. And so you contract with Douglas County, not Jackson County? Correct. Okay, interesting. All right, well, we're gonna take a quick break. Much more in a moment, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Jim Goodwin, the director of Josephine County Juvenile Justice. So, Jim, we're talking about how you guys no longer have your juvenile hall facility mm -hmm. open. Uh, when, did, when did that happen and, and why? Uh, June 30th of 2012 is when the facility closed and that was due to um, basically the drying up of federal funds okay. that uh, related to the ONC timber receipts. Sure. Uh, the county had historically been funded uh, county general fund by timber receipts mm -hmm. and when that slowed down and basically stopped federal government stepped in and for 10 or 12 years had subsidized counties mm -hmm. and in uh, 2012, that's when that significantly reduced, and we were uh, forced actually to close two facilities, our juvenile detention center and a, a, a non-secured shelter facility. Okay, and so I, I, we did the story recently that the county owns some timberland, and, and it sounds like the receipts from that, which mm -hmm. obviously pales in comparison to that federal money, but uh, the receipts from that will be higher than possibly expected, and we don't know what the specific number will be, but that, that money's going to go to your department or somewhere in that vein. Where will that go exactly? Well, I, I think the commissioners have, the, the current board has committed to uh, funneling proceeds from the county timberlands to juvenile justice. And whatever form that would, would take would, would depend on whether or not our facilities are opened in the future, okay. I think. Um, but they have shown some great support for juvenile justice in, in the county and saying, you know, if we can sure up th that funding mm -hmm. by, you know, county-owned timberlands, they're, they're willing to do that. Okay, and what would it take to reopen your facility? Like, how much money do you need? I mean, how does that work? Well, our detention only... Um, is around 16 or 17 full-time equivalent employees, 24-7, okay. three shifts mm -hmm. um, a day. And so it's a, pretty, it's a pretty significant haul to get from where we are now to uh, 
to opening the facility. It's, uh, it would be more than doubling our current budget. Okay, to give you an is example. that tied into the levy coming up? Um, it month? would be, sure. Okay, so mm -hmm. you guys are, okay, all right, very good. Well, thank you very much, good to see you. Yes, thank Thanks you. Being here. Appreciate yeah. it. Stay with us, we'll be right back.